while since I made a video. I've been pretty preoccupied. But uh, I got off on this project and wasn't thinking about nothing else but working on this when I had a free moment. And my son was like, you know, Dad, you ought to be putting that on your, your channel. So I said, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, you know, I'm pretty much an outdoorsman and, you know, I work on guns and my muzzle loaders and archery. That's all what I'm in, into. But I always wanted to, uh, always wanted to learn how to play a banjo. I love banjo music. So I decided, well, I'll just build me one. And what I'm building is what's called a mountain banjo. It's all out of wood, you know, hand carved. It, uh, this is black walnut. My fretboard is black walnut. My neck is uh, out of a piece of poplar. There's some walnut laminated to it. Walnut on the back. Now, this is all popular. Ship scraps off the job. And these are just some boards I had left over from gunstock making. And, uh, well, you know, I guess I should have started the video a little sooner for you, but uh, I'm a long way from being done. I got my pigs. Wheeled them out. These are whittled out by hand. Black walnut. Friction pegs, they call them. Now, I'm no, I'm no banjo expert by no means. What a little bit I know I picked up off the internet. But uh, I'm to the point now that uh, I got to work these pegs and keep reducing them down to where they'll go in there good and snug. They're a little bit big yet. But uh, I'll get it. A little at a time. With the, you know, got my fifth string peg right here. You know, they got to be, you know, they're tapered. So I take a file and I work them and I work them and fit them. And that's the next step on it. But what I wanted to show you was a mistake that I made. This is my first neck that went on that one. Got a little too small. Felt good. Thought it looked good. But when I started to ream out from my pegs, I broke it. So I'm like, well, damn, all that worked for nothing. So this time, when I started to make the new neck, I went ahead and I got it roughed out. Then I reamed it before I went any farther. But what I used is an easy out. Worked pretty good. I think it was four dollars and eighty cents, but uh, worked pretty good. It just needed needs a little more beef around it, which is okay. I, I think this one turned out better anyway. But anyhow, uh, I got my goat skin rawhide sitting over there, good and flat. The only thing I've had to buy that reamer, which was like just under five dollars. My goat skin was twelve dollars, and I think a set of strings is going to be eight nine dollars. Yeah, me a banjo. Not that I know how to play one, but I'm going to learn. I stayed at the Holiday Inn one night, so I can do it. All right, this far cracker outdoors. Um, I'll start making more videos as I work on it for you, and see if people want to watch it. Y'all subscribe. Keep watching.